So hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pasuelo from Curval.com and it is time again for another DAX Fridays. In today's DAX Fridays videos, we are going to talk about the previous functions, previous day, previous month, previous quarter, previous year. And this was requested by one of you. Uh, there could be some confusion when the dates in your data are not continuous. I will talk about that. And I will also talk about how to generally build these functions so you get a better idea of it. Um, and um, yeah, that's all. So let's begin the video. Okay, so let's take a look at what Microsoft says about these functions. Uh, previous day, it says that it, it will take the first date of the date um, that is in, uh, that has been selected. I'll show you when we go through um, Power BI example. On the previous month, it will take the first date too. On previous quarter, first date and the previous year it will actually take the last date so you know exactly which year we're talking about so with that said let's go into power bi and start see how these things work we are using as we always do the north wind data set it is a free database for everybody to use and you can just pick it up online so you don't need to download or install anything there are instructions down below how to access the data set but you can also download the power bi file so you are cover basically. So what I have done, I have actually created those measures uh, previously. Uh, they all look the same, and that's what we're going to talk about: how to actually build these uh, time intelligent measures. So, if we look at previous year, so there are basically two parts in this calculation. You have this part, and then you have this one. This part is the what, and this is the when. So what you will do here is you will say, okay, when is, I want to know this year, or like we're doing here, I want to know previous year. You could have three months back, or you know, anything. On this part, you actually want to know what. So what this year you could be like for example what are the sales this year or the number of products you know it could be absolutely anything so knowing that is very easy to build all these functions because the first thing you need to do is to know what you want to do and then you will need to know when you want to do it and when is previous year previous month previous quarter previous day i'm going to show you here how to fix that so let's go back to the example and start with previous year. If we click on the previous year tab, here I have already set the previous year calculation. You will see it up here, previous year. So nothing weird with that. And um, how does this thing work? Uh, let's go and take a look at it again. Let's pick a blue color. So here's how it works. In 1998, there were, or there are, if we say that this is present moment for this database, it is 78,000 uh, in sales, okay? And the previous year, it was 1,115. If you look there, it is giving you the correct answer. So it's matching the previous year and the same here. So in 1997, this will give you the sales that were in the previous year. So it is also working perfectly. So let's, let's look at previous quarter. We have here the actual measure. Let's take a look at how that looks, how has it has been built. So we have, as we said previously, the what, which is the sales, and then we have the when, which is previous year. And the only thing you need to do is to add this column, which is basically the column from our calendar, the date column. And this, of course, has been marked as a date table. Check out my previous video last Friday. So if you don't know what that is, and you build these functions always the same way. Okay, and you need to check if this is working or not. So you go to the table and again, you have here previous year, previous quarter, sorry, we're in previous quarter. It was 42,000 
which matches perfectly. We go here, 37,000 matches perfectly and matches perfectly and so on. So it is working as is expected. If we go to previous month, you will see uh, the same thing. Let's take that previous month. And if we think about what is said on the documentation, it says that it takes the first date, the first date, what that means. What it means is, oh wait, not there, just, <laughs> okay, so easy now. So what it means, let's go in there. So what it means is it takes this cell and it says it is 1998 May. Okay, so what it will do is it said, I'm going to take the first day, which is 1998-05-01, and I'm going to back, go back one month. So it is going to go back to 1998-04-01, and then it's going to see wh where the sales in that month. So that is what it means. Okay. Um, with that said, we go to previous day. And previous day, it is calculated the same way as the other ones. But this one is a little bit trickier. Let me show you. So what happens here is that we don't have all the days in the calendar. If you look in there, 04, 03, 02 have zero sales. Okay, and and 01 have zero sales to be exact. So no sales in four days. And things look a little bit confusing when that happens. Um, so let's look at what is going on here. So in 06, we have 168 of sales. Here we have date and total sales for the current day. And it says here 460. So as you can see, this one matches this one. Good to go. Now, on 05, as you can see here, the dates are not matching. And it's because we didn't have any sales whatsoever. So the previous day here, it is actually 1998-05-04, and the sales were actually zero. So that's why it said zero. And it says then, you know, uh, Power BI, when there are no data, it just doesn't show it unless you tell it to. So it jumps to 01. Why does it jump to 01? It's because we have a value, let me put, we have a value here. And why do we have a value there? Well, because there were sales the previous day. Even if there wasn't, weren't any sales that day, the previous day there were sales. So they are showing us that. And here, when you just remove the total sales, you would just see that those two and nothing else. So you will see that one and that one. So uh, you see how that works? And it could be a very confusing depending on how you visualize these. You might think that you're getting the rotten results, but you're not. You just have to be aware of that there are dates that are missing in your calendar. And that's why you're seeing weird things. Okay, so hopefully that helps uh, um, understand that it, it is actually calculating correctly, even if it doesn't look like it, depending on how you visualize the data. So this is actually all for today. Uh, I thought it was worth to point out that it could be a bit confusing when you don't have any dates. 
Um, you have probably seen my new technology. What do you think about it? I really enjoyed actually being able to point and to write. So I would love to hear what you thought about it. If you thought it was like disturbing or not disturbing, but you know, annoying. Um, so let me know. Uh, if you like it as much as I do, I will continue working that way. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, if you like the video, if you like the explanations, the technology, as always, thumbs up. So I know that and share with anybody that would like to know too. New to Power BI. I publish Power BI videos three times a week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything and you click to in the bell, you know, so you receive notifications when I publish new videos. Other than that, just have a great, great weekend and take care. I'll see you. I'll see you Monday, actually. So bye.